What's up guys, my name is Neon and today I'm going to be helping you guys how to get gold camos very quick and easy in Battlefield 5. So let's crack into this. Okay, so there's a little cool tips and tricks for you guys how to get gold guns. You probably know a couple of people who have almost every single gold gun. And you know people like me who have pretty much the same thing, have almost every single gold gun. And you're probably questioning yourself, Neon, how do you have all these gold guns and how did you do them so quick? But the thing is, you have to be smart off the certain challenges you do. But the cool challenge of most of them, what is very sneaky and not many people do know it, is if you do it on combined arms. Yes, you can do these challenges on combined arms. The way to do assignments in general for these gold weapons, you have to go into assignments, find the weapon what you want and select it. Yes, kind of confusing. Yes, kind of annoying as well. But the thing is, that's the way it works. So basically, if you want a weapon to get gold, you go and find the Tommy gun, go in there and select the two assignments. You can only do two assignments for that weapon each time. So the thing is, if you want to do two weapons at the same time, so you want to do the stem and the tommy gun you can do two assignments for the tommy gun and you can do two assignments for the stem and you can do them all at the same time but the thing is the reason that i say don't do it really on multiplayer is because you go into multiplayer and it says get so many kills in a certain distance or something like that or get headshots laying down kind of frustrating to do really when you're actually on multiplayer because you're playing against other players but the thing is if you do it in combined arms and some people say well you're not really doing legit are you but at the end of the day it's available in the game and let's be real no one really plays combined arms so before you really start playing some games or something you just want to practice on combined arms just do the challenges as well so you can do most of your challenges on combined arms and then once you've done that you got most of them done but then the thing is you're saying to yourself well there's some assignments on there where it says pvp pvp means player versus player if it says player versus player you have to do it on multiplayer there is no questions asked you have to do it on multiplayer you sorry you can't do it on combined arms but if it doesn't say that then you can do it on combined arms so make sure you be careful what you're reading on the assignments for the gold camos so you know what to do so if you need to go and combine arms or you can go into multiplayer it's totally up to you in general but read it and you can find out what you need to do there's one challenge what you get quite common and it really frustrates me the most and that is the objective kills. I, the reason why it frustrates me the most is because it says in one life get 10 hit fire kills in the attacking objective area and it's so annoying because like some of them are just objective area, some of them are attacking objective area and some of them are defending the objective area. So it's kind of frustrating to do that and then some of them are just like the same thing but you have to do it in one round. So if you don't complete it in one life or you don't complete it in one round then you have to do it all over again. Very frustrating. But the thing is you cannot do that on combined arms. There's no such thing as objectives on combined arms so you have to do it on multiplayer. But the quickest way to do that is doing it on breakthrough. Yes, breakthrough is the quickest way to get their objective kills. If it says attacking, you want to make sure you are attacking on breakthrough to complete that challenge. If you're not, then just back out that server, try to find another lobby and hopefully you find a starting, beginning server and you are attacking. If you are defending, you just have to find a breakthrough server where it's just started and you are defending. Some of them don't even say you need to defend or attack, it just says get kills in the objective area. So if that is the case, that's a lot more good. If you don't want to do breakthrough, then you can do tactical conquest. Tactical conquest is very, if it kind of feels a little bit aggressive here and there it all depends on the maps but the thing is i prefer breakthrough breakthrough is just so chaotic so crazy and the thing is especially if you want to get them guns gold especially like a medic guns if you can do medic guns and do that on breakthrough you're going to get it done very very quick 
Obviously, as I said about combined arms, some of the sniper challenges, like laying down, being prone, and getting like five headshots in a row, or in one life, or something like that, you can do them on combined arms. So some of the frustrating challenges, you can do them on combined arms. That's really it. So hopefully you can use these challenges to your full advantage. And that's just a little cool little tips and tricks for you guys. Combined arms, you can actually do some of your challenges, but make sure you read them so you know if you can do them on combined arms or you can do them on multiplayer. Hopefully you get these guns gold. Hopefully it helps you for the process. These really shouldn't take that long, but if you are a beginner player, it'll probably take you a good couple of hours to get these guns gold. After that, you have all the nice gold camos and you just be having a lot of fun. So anyway, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope this guy video did help you. If it did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe to be a part of the Pink Army. I'll see you troopers in the next video. Peace.